quickly decided that what was good for bananas was good for the USA. UFC had entered every part of its workers' lives. And in December of 1928, in Colombia's Santa Marta Banana Zone, the workers had had enough and organized a strike. They wanted to be paid money instead of company scrip, along with a six-day work week, an eight-hour work day, and a written contract commensurate with working conditions in the United States. But they were immediately labeled communists and radicals by the Colombian government, U.S. Embassy, and UFC. On December 6, 1928, El Pupo demonstrated its power. All of this was done with the full support of the U.S. State Department, as a marine frigate observed the situation from the harbor. Jack, send this off to Washington. I have the honor to report that the Bogota representative of the United Fruit Company told me yesterday that the total number of strikers killed by the Colombian military exceeded 1,000. <laughs> 